this is sort of a sequel or follow-up video to my one that I uploaded yesterday about World Cup surprises. I asked you guys in the comments section uh, who you thought could be a surprise team in 2018 at the World Cup. And by surprise team, I meant a team that could make a run to the quarterfinals or deeper. Um, only a few exceptions really are considered for a round of 16 finish because surprise teams tend to go farther into World Cups than just the second round. Um, one of my commentators said that they think the surprise team is going to be from Asia, and he sort of read my mind. <laughs> now, let me just say, on this channel I try to use as much logic and reasoning, and I try to be as analytical as possible. But to be honest with you, I'm also a little bit superstitious, and I also believe that things run in cycles. And this is a belief that cannot be explained through reason or really anything like it. It's just my own um, belief. There's something about this sport that has some element of magic almost to it. I don't even know if that's the right word to use, but that's the only one that comes to my head right now. Um, Asia is overdue for a quarterfinal appearance in the World Cup. You look at all the surprise teams that I mentioned in my last video, you notice that it sort of went through cycles. One World Cup, a surprise team was a European. Another World Cup, a surprise team was an Asian team. Another World Cup, a surprise team was a, a European team. The other year, it was an African team. Then it was a South American team. And then we had a CONCACAF team in Costa Rica in 2014. So I just I have a feeling. Just call it a feeling. I've been thinking this for a little while now. If there's going to be a surprise team, or teams, could be more than one, in Russia in 2018, something tells me it's, it's going to come from either Europe or Asia. Because Europe has not had a surprise team in the quarterfinals since Ukraine in 2006. And in 2006, just so happens to be the last time a World Cup was held on European soil. And we're now we're back in Europe for 2018. Asia has not had a team in the quarterfinals in general since 2002. So I don't think that any other confederation is really next in line to see that kind of surprise. And I'm not suggesting anything is fixed at all. I'm just saying there's just something about this sport where, I don't know, maybe it's like a supernatural, higher power kind of thing. But there's always at least one surprise team that makes it to the last eight in World Cups. And I think it's going to be a European or an Asian side this time. And I want to take this video to go over some of the, can the candidates that I think might be, that might fit this description. From Europe, out of all the teams that are in good position to qualify, I have a funny feeling about two teams. Serbia and Poland. Poland and Serbia both have not been to the World Cup uh, since 2006 and 2010, respectively. Both suffered group stage exits in the last time in the World Cup. Both right now are going through uh, the best generation of players they've had in quite some time. And I think, why not? If they have a reasonable draw at the World Cup and they win their first knockout game, they're into the quarterfinals. So I would say right now, more than a year away from the World Cup. Look at I'm looking at Poland and Serbia potentially as surprise quarterfinalists for that tournament from Europe. From Asia, it's a different story. From Asia, I also have two teams in my mind. Australia and Japan. I don't think South Korea right now is in good enough shape to make a a deep run into a World Cup. I, expe I expect them to qualify, uh, but if you look how they've been in qualifying so far, they've been very unconvincing, whereas Japan has been very strong. 
and Japan is being coached right now by Vahid Halil Hadzic, the coach that sent Algeria to the second round of 2014. He's a very good manager. Japan is in, in Asian qualifying, and now Japan is peaking at just the right time, I think. Australia is struggling. Australia is struggling, but like I said, superstitious. I believe in cycles. A team does poorly for a certain number of World Cups, and then they, they come back the next time around. And this is a larger trend that I've noticed with Costa Rica. Costa Rica did not uh, qualify even for 2010. And they made it to 2014. They got to the quarterfinals. Um, Paraguay did not qualify for 2006. For No, Paraguay crashed out in the group stages of 2006. Quarterfinals, 2010. So it seems to be that there's always that one or two teams that will do very poorly in one World Cup and then come back and put on their best performance the next year. I don't know why, but I've noticed it for too long now to not mention this. I have to bring it up. And I look at Asia. I personally, I'm not going to go deep into this topic here. I personally think Australia one day will be a superpower. Uh, in, in, in the global sport. I do believe they will be one of one of the best teams one day, um, along with a few other teams I have in my mind, but that's not, that's not what this video is about. I look at an Asian team that could potentially reach the quarterfinals to continue the trend that I've noticed. I'm thinking it's Japan or Australia. Um, someone mentioned before Iran. Well, Iran right now certainly is the best team in Asia. I don't think they've conceded any goals in, in World Cup qualification, and they could certainly make a surprise run into the knockout rounds. Um, but I don't know. I just don't feel Iran has enough, at least, attacking prowess to get to a quarterfinal of a World Cup, round of 16 maybe. And when you look at Russia, Russia's a huge country, huge country. It's not just a European country. Arguably, it encompasses a large landmass of Asia as well. Last World Cup, the Asian uh, countries did not do well. All four of them crashed out in the first round. I just feel like Asia is due for a good performance in the World Cup, as well as a few European teams that otherwise would not perform well. And I just think the whole atmosphere of Russia will, and the fact that some of the venues will be in eastern Russia, which is technically in Asia, um, near Siberia, I think this World Cup could very well suit some eastern European teams and some Asian teams. It's just a feeling I have. So, those four sides that I mentioned, I'm keeping a close eye on them. Uh, again, those four teams are Serbia and Poland, two eastern European teams, uh, very good teams from, from uh, like I said, Eastern Europe. And I'm looking at Australia and Japan from Asia. Now, I'm not predicting any of them will make it to the, to the quarterfinals, but I got a feeling one of them might do it. Maybe, one, maybe more than one. I just feel like it's now Asia's time, maybe even Eastern, European, Eastern Europe's time again, uh, to make a deep run into the World Cup. It's just a cycle guys. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you later.